everybody, this is Zombie Alley Cat, and welcome back to some more Don't Start with Willow. Now, in terms of my survival, in like terms of, you know, all of our survival, um, we gotta get our things, thing, we gotta get things moving is what I'm trying to say. We gotta get things moving. Like, we gotta hoard up a shitload of wood. We gotta get all of these twigs. Because winter is coming and I don't have a touchstone anymore. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. You know? Just a little bit nervous. Not a lot, but a little bit. Just a little bit. And, ooh, these rabbits are getting hungry. And they can live. They can live for a little bit. They can live while I chop down this perfectly innocent tree that did nothing wrong. They can live. Yay! Tree death. Because tree death is the best death. Not really, because we're in desperate need of trees. Trees are, trees are literally what makes this world go round. They are literally our oxygen supply. Like, I mean, think about it. You think, yeah, we have oxygen from the earth, but... But here's a thought. Have you ever considered stopped to think where that came from? I mean, seriously, look at all this. Where, how is all, any of this possible without a tree? Or any sort of plant that can convert nitrogen to oxygen? If I recall correctly, there used to be a whole bunch of those back in the day. Back in the day before even dinosaurs showed up. And done. Alrighty. We shall put those in there. I shall eat my last petal. I shall eat this meatball. Nice and full. Good for my tummy. Or something. And with that being said, let's make the jog over to our rabbit traps. Check them. And then make the jog back home. Because that is literally going to be my life. And you're going to have to get used to it. See, look at all those rabbits. See, look at those traps already sprung. And look at all those cocoons trying to dig out the goodies within. Like... Not again. Not again. Not again! Why again? Is it because I got killed by the last one? Uh, I don't want any of this. I really don't. Well, at least, yeah, they're coming. Well, at least I have my football helmet and my logs. At least I'm aware of my, where my log suit is at. That's why I should be thankful for. At least I'm aware of that. And, ooh, a birch nut. Thank you. All right. One more and yay. And god dang it, I'm out of... Oop! Gotta run! Gotta, gotta blast! The hounds are here! And... I'm gonna equip that. There we go. Hey, Beeplo! You mind lending a hand? I got a whole bunch of hounds here! Yada boy, Beeplo! You teach those pe- You teach them much before! Atta boy! Atta boy, Beeplo! Yeah, that's a, That's how you deal with hounds. And, oh, look! The little one's trying to fight, too! Little one, you don't want to fight be these hounds! They're like literal danger! They are literal killers! And oh, look at them! Look at them! Yay! Crisis, crisis averted! Our beefalo worries are... are gone! For now, and I'm just gonna plant that because I do not have any room. And... These ra starving rabbits, I'm gonna murder one of them. And yay, we got a hound tooth. And a whole bunch of monster meat. That is, oh crap. Oh crap, it's gotten that cold. We have got to head back. Or I could. Here. You're not near anything. Get rid of this warning thing. Thank you. Now I gotta go. Oh boy, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. If I'm starting to freeze already, that means I need to start carrying my winter big clothing around. Because it's freezing, and all the trees have officially lost their leaves. And my kitty is here to come say hello at the worst possible time, as always. Oh, God. 
good. All right, come on. Go, go, go. Back to camp, and we are hitting the edge. Back to camp. Back to camp we go. The freaking hounds wasted my time, and yay, we made it back, and our dragon fruit grew just in time, too. And nope, 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 nope. Nope, I'm not freezing. I'm not freezing again. No. I refuse to go out by freezing. If I want to go out, I want to go out in a blaze of glory, god dang it. <sighs> anyway, with all of that rant out of the way, I'm gonna... Can I feed rabbits that? No. That sucks. Uh, you, monster meat, put you up to dry. Uh, put the rest in... Oh. Put the rest to cook. There we go. <laughs> and at long last, we shall give our bird that and see if we can get anything. Okay, we got one. We got two. We got... Come on. That's better. Thank you. And... Ooh, that rabbit's getting hungry. And... Whip. And... Whip. And... Whip. There we go. And meatballs. Because meatballs, again, are gonna be the lifesaver. Yo. Now, let's just murder these and that. And in case you're wondering why I'm spacing out my rabbit murders, it's because of Krampus. You remember him? I think I mentioned him a couple mentions, a couple of episodes. Not a couple mentions, a couple of episodes back. Sheesh, what is wrong with me? I think I mentioned him a couple episodes back and how he shows up when you're not being nice and how killing Glomer immediately summons him. Because, you know... Glomer didn't do anything wrong to you. Glomer's a sweetheart. Glomer just sat there and loved you. But yeah. Killing him immediately makes, you know, a, a Krampus spawn. And if you get Krampus spawned, it'll start rummaging through your chest and steal your shit. And frankly, I'd rather not have Krampus coming up into my home and stealing my shit. Because that shit is my shit. And I don't need any of his shit. Quite literally, because I have shit in this chest. Right, uh, Beekeeper Hat, where are you? Uh, you should be in here. Perfect. Alright, I am in need of your services. Preferably before winter. Thanks, bees. Trust me, it's better I harvest them now than later. And come on. Bees, don't be so bitter about it. Like, honestly. There's no need to be so bitter about it. Right. Uh, now that that's sorted, we are going, 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 going. I sound like a broken record, don't I? Anyway, what was I saying? Right, going to work on like a sewing kit or something because I could use one of them in my life. I could very much use one of them and casually murder the rabbit and casually stuff the rabbit in here to cook. Now, let me look at something while I'm standing right here uh, and putting my beekeeper hat away because they're bees. I don't think I don't think they come out during winter time. And getting this ready because, you know, raisins and uh, here, hound soup. Thank you. Now, in order to make the sewing kit that I so desire, I need eight silk, one wood, and of course two hound's teeth. Uh, what I wouldn't give for deconstruction tools, I can get back one of those and make a sewing kit. What I wouldn't give. But alas, alack, we're stuck with what we got. And we gotta work with it. Sadly. <sighs> At least this thermal stone in the beefalo hat will help, but still. Right. First order of business. Let's chop down a whole... Let's chop down some more trees. Yeah, I know. Like, I haven't had enough wood already. But trust me, we're gonna need it, man. We're not gonna last long if we don't have our fire fuel. That's literally what it's gonna be. It's gonna be our fire fuel. And where is the... Oh, I... It broke, didn't it? Don't worry. I got a new one. 
Yay! And let me flick. Yay! Chop down all of the wood. All of the wood. Well, not all of it. I don't want a tree guard to get pissed at me. Because, you know, that's... Okay, let's just stop for a second. Because I don't want any tree guards to come marching up here all mad like it. Hey, already? Jesus, man. God, well, winter sucks. And yay. Back in the warmth of our camp. Because I'll tell you now, they're going to want to keep that fire going. Because if I'm getting cold that quickly, which reminds me I should wear that while I'm doing this. If I'm going to get cold that quickly, then I got to keep that ready. And I also got to keep an eye out for a winter koala fit. Because that winter koala fit trunk can be used to make something rather helpful in terms of surviving the winter time. And then, like, keeping your warmth in you and not out of you, you know? There we go. Alright, that's enough tree chopping for now. Let's get our... Let's... Excuse me, Glomer. Eh, let's get our... Dang, already? You bees work... You be sure to work quickly. Uh, trade you for that. And... Yoink! <sighs> right away, so there we go. Alright, um, put you back in here, and I'll keep that in my inventory, because that thing is literally precious to me. It is literally my lifeblood right now. Because if that runs out, then I literally can't leave camp for, like, what, 20 days? That's a lot of time spent around loitering, you know? And I can't be doing that. Like, that's not entertaining. Oh, you guys want to see me go out and do stuff, don't you? That's what you guys want. You want to? You guys want to see me go out and die in a ditch somewhere, all alone? That's what you guys want. All alone with no friends. That's literally gonna be what. That's literally gonna be it. Zombie Alex. That's literally guess what it's gonna say on my tombstone or my gravestone. Zombie Alley Cat died alone with no friends. Yep. And it also, it's also going to say game over, because why not? And let's remove that and put you in. There we go. Now we can put the rest of that honey in there. Stand by our nice and warm fire. Pump it up a bit. And yeah. We'll just sit here by our glomer sandwich. Not before casually eating this meaty stew, because it's going bad. And we're just going to sit here. And chill. Just sit here. And chill. Yep, that's literally what's gonna happen. If, if it's not gonna be like the last one. Like I... S yeah, look. The rangometer's slowly becoming into that area. And once it hits that area, it's gonna start snowing. And yay, I got some honey nuggets. God, that must... God, that kind of sounds good right about now. Like... What, who, what do you want to eat tonight? Oh, uh, not much. Just some honey nuggets. Fine with me. That sounds really good. And let's put a couple of you in there. And we'll take our monster jerky. And we'll harvest this one while we're at it. And we'll do that. And put that there. And honey? Yeah, honey. Let's put some honey in, see what happens. And we sit and wait. Right next to our glomer fire sandwich. At least sanity won't be a problem. As long as I have my glomer fire sandwich. It's everything else that's gonna be a problem. Yeesh. Anyway, will you please tick over? I don't have a lot, but I don't have much else to say and I kinda need something going on instead of like here. Darkness, like I don't even have the night hands to yell at because my sanity is so high. Maybe I should allow myself to go crazy a little bit more just so I have some night hands to talk to. And not really. That's a bad idea. And day 50! That means, yeah, look at that thermal measure. It's way down below. 
It's way below whatever Fahrenheit that is. That means we gotta... We gotta... Take, cut our losses, eat our petals, and go make sure we have plenty of room in our inventory. Store all of that, and we won't be needing a bug net. And this, I, I'm gonna use that to quickly get rid of this skeleton. Because this skeleton, let's be frank, it's gonna get in the way later. And by later, yay, thank you, bone shards. Shame I can't use that for my sewing kit. And not that matters. I'm gonna need to kill a bunch of spiders anyway. And where is the bone bit? Bone bit, bone bit, where for art thou bone bit? Bone bit, bone bit. And the rest is here in wood. Where did I put my wood again? My wood, I know I had spares. Or do I have all the spares? I probably have all the spares. Dang it. Right. Enough dawdling. It's day 50. It's gonna start freezing. It's gonna start freezing the second that it turns nightfall. And I need to get my beef below hat ready. Because frankly, I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose my one source of warmth when I'm away from the fire. Because once we use that, we lose it all. Every single last bit. Yeah, that's pretty much just that. And yay, look at all the grass. And look at all those on traps that have yet to be sprung. I bet you they caught something a little later. And hi, Mandrake. I am no, I am in no need of you right now. And yay, rabbit traps. And that rabbit just died. <laughs> it's like there was a rabbit wriggling in there. But no, it just died. It just got up and died, and there's a rabbit trap down here. And yay! Good rabbit meat that's probably gonna go bad, and yoink! Thank you very much for your contribution to my survival. Thank you very much for your contribution to my survival. I guess, and... Dang, look at all the meat. Look at all the meat. And hi, kitty. I know, you want you want to catch those rabbits, don't you? Yes, you do. God, I really... God, I really hope cat coons don't, like, you know, show up too much. Hibernate during winter, that's what I should say. I really hope that's not the case, because if so, then that would be more convenient, actually. It means all my la rabbit traps would be left alone. And there we go. Look at all those hungry rabbits. Just look at them all. Just sitting there, slowly starving to death. I mean, it's cruel? Yes, but... <sighs> it's getting cold already. God dang it. We must quickly run back to camp and set the light our fire before it gets too cold. Because yeah, these things around your edges, that's like there it there it goes. It recognized I wore beef low hat. Now I can unequip it for a little bit. Anyway. So but in case you didn't realize um yeah. It's hold on. What was I saying? Yeah, those things around your edges that initially appear that means that's your freezometer. For instance, we'll just call that the Freezometer. Yeah, Freezometer is a good name. Now let us murder a couple of these. And, you know, put two like that, and then one like that, and then one like that. For that extra flavor, you see? And then I shall casually harvest all of these. Rather quickly, due to, you know, winter, and I shall feed these. Thank you. Yeesh, that looks like, that looks rather bountiful. It was bountiful. Alright, just give me two more, mate. That's all I ask, and woo! That looks like, yeah, that's definitely two more. Sweet, thank you. 
Now I shall plant these. These are totes not gonna grow. Like not they're they're not gonna grow in a million years. But at least they'll have backup dragon fruit, I guess. Alrighty. Put you in there. Harvest the drying rack so that we can do that. And we can do that. And we can do our one more honey and one more berry. There we go. And now I shall murder you. And you. Gotta space out those murders. I don't want Krampus paying me a visit. Maybe because once he rummages through your church, you chest, he runs away like the little coward that he is. Oh, what the coward you are, Krampus. And that reminds me, I should chop trees and... Well, it's a little late for that. Um... There! That was nice and big. That should last all night. Question mark. Oh, boy. This is not gonna be easy. And again, since when is winter ever easy? Like, I can't imagine summer to be any different either. Like, I haven't even been through summer. Like, I shall eat you before you go bad. Yay! Like, I haven't even been through summer. That's how bad it is. Like, wow. It almost looks like Lomer's on fire right there. But it's not. He's just clipping through it. Anyway, I haven't even been through, been through summer yet. And I can imagine summer to be just as bad. Except you're not trying to keep cool. You're trying to keep warm. You're trying to keep cool. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And frankly, that's a bad thing. Because, actually... Yeah, it's a bad thing in my opinion. Because frankly, in my opinion, it is a lot harder to cool off than it is to warm up. Like, I mean, honestly. When you're warming up, that's simple. All you gotta do is just... Whack a, you know, a, thank you. All you gotta do is just whack a beef below a hat or something on, oh, uh, well, wait. Let me rephrase that. All you gotta do is whack a beef below a hat on your noggin, bundle up in a nice little puffy vest, and then you're good for the rest of winter. That's literally all you do. And then, oh no, but in summer, oh no, you have to... I don't know, it takes a massive ice cube to your head. Because apparently that's an item in summer. Yeesh. Gonna have to look at that. I'm also gonna have to look for Chester too. And, oh, yep, yeah, there's that blue tent. That's that iconic blue tent that we're all oh so familiar with, yet we wish we're not. The tent of winter is upon us, my friends. Which means we are not going to be exploring anytime soon. Yep. You can hear the winter music playing in the background. That means winter does arrive. And winter is not happy. Yeah. Not in the least. And... Once more for you. And... Yay! Hey, 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 hey. Don't get overzealous now. We gotta dig up the stumps. Yes, we do. There we go. Now let's plant the rest by doing, uh, what was it? Uh, that. And I should start planting stuff over here because it's hard to plant, plant along the border. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. And now we shall return to camp with our axe equip because reasons. And hey, Glomer, thanks for Spluge and Blue. Spluge and Blue. Forget I ever said that because, yeah. And thank you for that. Yeah, it's so cold. Not even the bees are coming out. Well, that one is. I guess that bee's a bit suicidal. Now, let us take our, our last bit of drying rack. And now I should start putting these on drying racks because and any meat that lasts a long ass time is, is my kind of meat, my friend. We do that and we make the rest as plain old morsels, I guess. And set them to cook. Righty. 
So let's go chopping down more trees, shall we? Because I want to get stockpiled on wood. I want to get so stockpiled that um, you'll just you'll find me asking, oh what? Oh you'll be I'll be the. Let me try again. I will be like that neighbor you have that's like, hey I hey like Gary, do you have like any? I have no idea. I hope that was just a bees. Anyway. Hey, Jerry, have you got any the rainy winter? How backwards is that? Anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna be like that neighbor that's all, hey, dude, hey, Gary, do you know of anyone where that has a shitload of wood, like, holed up in their basement or something? And then, and then Carl's like, yeah, I know, I know just a guy. Let me, let me introduce you to him. His name's her name's Zombie Alley Cat. She's got all the wood in the world. And then the dude's like, Oh, wow, really? I should check this out. And then he comes over to my place, and all he sees is just a shitload of wood. Like, a storeroom just filled entirely of wood. Just nothing but wood. Wood, as far as the eye can see. Just wood. Yeah, I know, I'm starting to ramble. I can't blame me, I mean, look at this! Look at how long dust lasts! Look at it! I'm bound to go a bit loopy every now and again, and the fact that I don't have a touchstone here, it makes my whole base feels empty. And what the hell was that rumbling? I don't like how that rumbles, and I'm gonna pick this up, because that's nice and toasty. Look at how it glows. Yes, it's nice and toasty. And we got three minutes left, so I can spend three more minutes yakking your guys' ears off as I wonder what that sound was. Am I the only one who's slightly worried? No? Is it just me? I hope it. I hope it's just me. Because I'd rather not be worried, you know, during winter. Because winter sucks, as we all know. Now let's cook it. And let's hop back on our glomer sandwich. And Brain, will you please go away? And kitties, will you please leave? Like oh, this is gonna turn into a confrontation real Yep. It's gonna turn into a confrontation real quick. I can tell. In case you're wondering, Harley isn't getting along with our other kitties. So she's sort of like hounding them for reasons, and yeah, that's not necessarily a good thing. Not really. And you know what? This is going on long enough. I'm gonna. Ooh, thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. And wow, I've got nine of those honey nuggets. That's awesome. Anyway, I guess with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you enjoyed my content. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Jesus, Lightning, I'm trying to do an outro. And check out the other stuff I do on my channel. Check out, what was it, the, the check out, well, god dang it, what, what was the thing? What was the thing I wanted? Uh, oh yeah, Facebook and Twitter, yeah, I have those. Check them out. And I suppose with that being said, I will see you guys next time. And Lomer almost, it almost looked like Lomer had horns there for a minute. And, oh, yep, look at that. The wet, look at that, everybody. The, the rain magically changed to snow. That means winter is upon us, and I'm going to hate it. I guess with that being said, I will see you guys next time! Oh lord, this is gonna suck.